Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Jira XRA tutorial, we are going to discuss more about the test plan board and how you can use test plan and test plan board together to manage your test executions and test planning easily within Jira XRA. Okay, so we have created the test plan in the last tutorial. We have added the test cases to the test plan as well. We have also created the test runs, right? Creating test runs, but we'll touch base more in detail when we go to the test runs or test execution. So if we talk about the test plan, board right so let's discuss more about the test plan board so we have seen that this is basically the sprint one test plan okay wherein we have these three test cases so if you are on the say for example here you will get the documentation so if you want to read the documentation ar around the x-ray so you simply go to the more and apps and the x-ray so along with these tutorials i'm also going through the documentation and showing you where you can get the documentation details so here if in executing test cases or uh, not executing basically the planning and the test plan board is where you will get all the test plan board related documentation right so it's a lengthy document uh, but i'll cover that all the details that are there most of the details not all the details most of the details that are mentioned here in this particular tutorial anyways okay so if we go to the testing board here or let's go to the test plan first and from there how you are going to navigate to a test plan board so this was our test plan okay if you scroll down in the test section you will get the test plan board link already so you'll see the view on board right so if i minimize this here you'll see view on board and this will open the test plan board now what this test plan board is all about it's more of a hierarchical structure of the test cases that you have defined in the plan so you can have sprint wise plan you can have uh, the regression testing plan you can have uh, the plan as per the feature testing right so depending how you are organizing your testing within the project you can create multiple plans accordingly right now in the test plan board what you can do is you can plan or you can make the structured or make a hierarchical structure for these plans so how you can create you can create the folder structure basically so at the moment this is the root folder which is the board right and if you click on these three ellipses here you can create a folder here okay so if we say this is a sprint one test plan okay and simply create this folder so this folder will be kind of a child in the board okay folder now if you have multiple sprint plans you can keep creating multiple sprint plans and organize all your test cases in the plans here now what will be the benefit so simply say for example here there are three test cases right so i can simply go ahead so they are at the root level now and they are not part of any of the test plan that we have defined on the board or the folder that, that we have defined on the board so we can simply drag and drop these test cases here as part of these three uh the this sprint one test plan right now you will see i can see the overall status from the board itself right so it's kind of a dashboard for the overall execution that you can see here itself in a particular location so if there are multiple sprints 10 sprints for example here i can quickly go ahead and go to different folders let me create another folder i'll say sprint to test plan right and click on create sprint to test plan oh sorry with to the root level okay so now sprint 2 will have uh, some more test cases and then we'll keep adding those test cases and the execution will be tracked here you'll see this this bar here so at the moment all of these three are showing as to do right now say for example the execution is happening or execution has happened for these test cases how will the report or the status will look here okay on the bar so if we go to the plan right so this is the plan link if we simply go to the plan and let's mark some of the test cases as executed or passed or failed so here in the plan we need to first go to the execution right and then execute our test cases so that's how that's how the team will be executing these test cases so if you go to test executions and then simply open the execution so this is another like the execution that we created so you will see it's still not started right so say for example let's execute a test okay here quickly and mark them as pass and fail so here to execute a test simply you have to click on these icons here i'll quickly go ahead and mark these test cases as pass so i'll cover the executions anyways in detail so simply i'll mark them as pass okay and some of them as fail just to show you about the or a test plan board okay. we'll return to the test execution so you'll see that overall execution status has been marked accordingly as i have marked right so one of one passed one failed one executing okay 
so now if i want to go back to the test plan board okay so let's go to the test plan first so we'll simply go to the test plan so the number for the test plan was 24 and from here you can directly go to the board okay if you want if you do not want to follow this approach in order to go to the board you simply go to the project section here okay and then in the testing board right so this is the testing board click on the testing board and this will open the overall testing x-ray testing board right now from here if you click on this icon here it will open all the details about the testing board so we are at the test repository at the moment you can go to the bdd step library or the test plans right and then there are multiple reports which will cover as well later so if we go to the test plans it will take us to the test plan right so now you'll see this is basically all the status about the test plan right so test plan for this one so if you go to this test plan you will see the same status will be displayed here as well okay this is the execution status now what is the benefit of this board i can simply right click on this board or uh, this particular folder okay and now first execution that we have executed these test cases there are some failures and then uh, there is something which is already executing right so the failed test case needs to be executed again so that means we need to create another execution cycle right so either we go ahead and create it manually or we use the test board here and simply right click on the folder okay and then you can click on create test execution with tests all right so click on create test execution with test and include whichever test statuses that you want to include so what test cases you want to execute again the failed one and executing one and to do one right if there is anything in to do any test case that hasn't been executed or which is in progress or which has failed include those to create a new test execution cycle right so it will create a test execution we provide a summary and we'll say test execution for sprint one okay so usually it's a good idea that test execution cycle two right test execution cycle 2 or cycle 2 something like that test sprint or it's better like sprint 1 test execution cycle 2 right so the first cycle you name it sprint 1 test execution cycle 1 second cycle accordingly so you will keep a track of how many re-executions were done in the particular sprint okay i'll put same thing here in the description and then make sure that if there is the basically the assignee whosoever is will be owning this particular execution most probably the lead and manager will own it so simply assign they will assign themselves okay and then sprint right so you will be doing all of this work within the sprint so choose the active sprint wherein you are working for so click on create and it will create another test execution cycle okay for this plan all right and it will include the test cases failed and to do right so failed and to do will be included so there was one in progress and then one was to do so if we go back to the plan let's go back to the plan there should be one more test cycle which will include the test case that was executing and the test case that failed into the test cycle or the test execution cycle so here if we go to the test executions you will see another test execution cycle got created wherein we have two test cases right so first cycle we had the execution there were failure there was uh, in progress which we added into the next cycle from test plan board and it became really easy otherwise you have to come here add a test execution figure out how many test cases were failed and passed pick the numbers and then add those manually right so that's where basically your test plan board becomes really important to manage all of these activities in a simple way okay so let's go to the test plan board and i'll show you a few more things around the test plan board so this is basically how you are going to create okay now if so for example you want to rename these folders the option is kind of similar to repository if you are following through the beginning of the series deleting a folder is again selecting highlighting the folder and then right click and delete the folder okay you can add the test cases within these folders okay and similar to repository if a test case is being added here in the test plan you can't have the same test case added in the two folders at one time right so you can see that now there is only two test cases here okay so in terms of folder structuring it's same like a repository now you can also select uh, the more options and you can see that you can create test add test expand etc okay and then let's say for example i 
expand okay and then in order to collapse simply click on this icon here to collapse all the boards there okay if you have a big hierarchy there to collapse everything okay and then if you right click on any of the folders okay there are a couple of more options say for example on this folder i want to right click and i can see that i i can create the test sets within the test right with test or add test to the test set create execution which we have already understood right and then adding the test to the test test execution all of these are kind of shortcuts that i can just manage directly from here on the test plan board okay so this is briefly more about the test plan and test plan board and how it will help you to manage your testing activities within jira x-ray i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching